What's up, what's up, guys? It's your boy Roy back at it with the back at it. -ness. And if you don't know, you're here live with the Preaching to the Birds podcast, where we talk about the real deal, the Evander Holyfield, things that, the things that knock your lights out, you feel me? We're here to just preach that birds talk, the shit you already know, and that's for sure. So now that you already know that, let's begin, right? Now, as you can see, it's raining out here in California. It's sunny the sunny state known as California. Why is it raining? It's because Miles Sanders is about to get the fuck up out of here, okay? Excuse my language. I'm sorry, kids. I'm sorry if you're watching this with your family members, whatever. You know, look, realistically, Miles, no disrespect to you, man. I know you put your heart and effort into it, but you, but you, my guy, you did not show up in the moment that mattered the most. So now we're here on this rainy day. And we're going to talk about why you need to be let go. All right. So if you've been hiding under a rock, guys, uh, Miles Sanders just recently tweeted to Howie Roseman to bring him back. And I'm paraphrasing, but what he said was when asked about his contract, I want to be back in Philly. I just hope they want me back. You know, he says that, you know, he's saying that to Howie Roseman because, you know, he, he wants Howie Roseman to give him a, a decent contract to bring him back, you know, entice him. Now, Miles, you're you're a human being and I uh I respect your need to get money. Like you have a family, you have girls to please. <laughs> if you don't know about Miles Sanders uh dating history, recommend you look it up. <laughs> but look, man. If you want six million to ten million dollars, which is like the the market right now for running backs, you're not gonna get it here, man. You're not. You're not. At least in my opinion, you're not. Cause um, you just didn't show up in the playoffs, man. You didn't show up like Kenny did in the playoffs. You didn't have a single big game in the playoffs. And the way the NFL works, it's a recency bias. It's what what have you seen lately? And although you had 1,200 yards in the season, you didn't do nothing in the playoffs when we needed the most. You were non-existent. In the Super Bowl, the biggest game of the year, you were out physical by a seventh round running back that wanted it more. I'm not saying anything that is not true, it's facts. You can look up the game and see it yourself. We needed more from you, Miles, and you didn't give it. You had 2.5, 2.6 yards per carry. In the Super Bowl, and it just wasn't enough. So now, you know, when asked about whether we're going to bring you back, the answer is a no, a resounding no. And I'm sorry, because, you know, like, I almost bought a jersey of you. I thought you were a cool person. You know, I'm sure you're an awesome dude. Great for the locker room, but I think we could do better for cheaper. So with that being said, we're going to talk about potential free agent candidates that can come replace him i've given i've already written down a list of potential free agent running backs at the top of the list is kareem hunt kareem hunt is about 27 28 years old we wanted him a long time ago before the chiefs got him before the browns got him we never pulled that trigger and got him i think now would be a good time for us to get him we get it for a cheap deal give him a little bit less than miles was you know about to get I think he still has a lot of wear and tear, um, a lot of wear and tear on them legs. I think he he got a lot of tread left on the tires. I think he can do some work for us with that line. Cream Hunt, <clears throat> he had 123 attempts for 468 yards and a 3.8 average. Now, believe me, with our own line, that average is going to be way higher and the attempts can be way higher. I'm telling you, being behind Nick Chubb for two years and getting those short yardage carries, it's going to extend his career a couple minutes or a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months, a couple of years, maybe for us, right? And we just need him for a run. We just need to make a run to the Super Bowl and get that dub. And we need that LeGarrette Blunt type person. So I think he would be the perfect fit to go with a Kenny Gainwell to get us to that next level. You feel me? The next person on the list is somewhat similar, and his name is the David Montgomery. Now, David Montgomery, he's a 5'11", 260-pound, 
behemoth of a human being. Realistically, I don't know if these stats are right because realistically, he looked bigger than 216 to me. He looked like a, a solid 220, 230. But that's just me personally. David Montgomery, he had 201 attempts for 804 yards last year, averaging out to be a 4.0 average. Now, look, the Chicago's bare line was terrible. It was so bad that it had our old boy Jason Peters there playing last year. Not this year that he was with the Cowboys, but the year before that. He was starting. You feel me? Now, any team where Jason Peterson started at 38, 39 years old, I think has a bad line. And I think that if David Montgomery was to benefit from our line, I think he could have a breakout season. The next person on the list is Damian Harris. Damian Harris is 5'11", about 200 pounds or 210 pounds. He had 106 attempts for 462 yards and a 4.4 carry average, right? Now, Damian Harris has the most impressive stats. However, realistically, I don't want Damian Harris on the team. I'm not saying he's a bad running back. I'm not saying he wouldn't do work for the team. I'm not saying he might not even be able to match Miles Sanders' numbers. I just don't think he's an explosive talent. I don't think he's a special talent. And, hey, look, man, Damien, if you ever hear this, man, you are more talented than I will ever be when it comes to football. Ever. I'm not trying to to hate on you. You made it to NFL. I didn't. I would have loved to make it to NFL. I couldn't jump, run as fast as you, okay? Facts. But in regards to football... I think there are more explosive players out there that we can get that are better for us, right? As an Eagles fan, um, and the last person is the is is a is a is a huge if, right? Now look, I know I know we ain't trying to pay Miles this money, but Saquon, Saquon last name Barkley, Thunder Thighs himself, he's a free agent this year. If you guys haven't noticed, Eagles fans. He's six foot, 232 pounds of madness, behemothness. He had 295 attempts for 4.4 average, and he had 1,300 yards last season, not including the passing yards he did. Uh, received a lot of catches for his team through Daniel Jones. I would love to make our team better and to make the Giants worse by taking Saquon Barkley, their best player. I would love to. Him with paired with Kenny Gainwell, stop it. And a healthy line, we got a Steve Avia in the in the third round, plug in Mac guard. We're going crazy, I'm telling y'all. But that's you know, you can get at me with that later. We can we can talk about it in the comments, whatever. If you don't like it, whatever, we can talk. But look, that's cool. We're gonna hop into the potential draft picks that we might want want to get at you know what i'm saying so we got my favorite my favorite player in this year's draft in regards to running backs is jamar gibbs right you don't know jamar gibbs he's a former georgia tech transfer he transferred to alabama his junior or sophomore season he had he's a 511 running back Weighing at 200 pounds, he had 151 attempts for 926 yards. Now, look, and if you're paying attention to, to the rest of the stats, you'll notice that he has the least amount of attempts, right? Which means he has the least amount of tread on them tires. And to me, he, he reminds me of an Alvin Kamara type player. And his elusiveness, his way that he runs, he sets up his blocks. And on top of that, he has the breakaway speed to get away after those blocks have been achieved and he has an open path. I love his vision and personally, I would love to see him on the green. The second player is Bajan Robinson. He's he's actually the number one running back in this draft. I don't have him as my number one simply because realistically, I don't think we're going to use our 31st pick on him. And I think that in order for us to get Bijan Robinson, we're going to have to give up. 31st pick he's that special of a talent <clears throat> john robinson ran 258 times last year for 1580 yards at a 6.1 average amazing talent huge thighs just like saquon barkley 
And realistically, he has the breakaway speed and the vision to be great. Now, I'm not saying that I wouldn't love him on the team. Like, if we get him on the team and we can keep our line together, we won the Super Bowl. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all, man. Man, Miles is cool, man. But if we ran that ball like we, like we could have, man, gosh. That's another story for a different time, though, man. But, hey, let me hop back on this list. Go back to Shaq, Zach Charbonnet. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, bro. Like, your name's kind of different. I ain't never seen no Charbonnet, whatever. I, it looked like some wine or something sweet, you know? <laughs> I ain't going to even cap. But this man also kind of looks like Saquon to me in the sense of his thighs. He's a 6'1", 220-pound behemoth of a man. He had 195 attempts for 1,359 yards and a 7.0 average last year. Zach played for UCLA, and realistically, Zach could be a monster, man. He could be a monster. Like, personally, he didn't have the most explosive tape to me, but he looks like he has a lot of development, and he looks like he uh, he can grow to be a really good running back. He could be, I think his, I think his upside makes him a little bit below a uh, Saquon Barkley, but I mean, hey, that's a really great running back. Let's be honest here, fellas. Let's be honest. We may be Eagles fans, but we, we know talent, and Saquon is a talent, for real. And then my last person on the list is Sean Tucker, right? Sean Tucker is a 5'10", 200-pound running back. He had 1,000, and he's out of Syracuse. Let me, let me give you that information. He had 1,060 yards last season in his sophomore season. Man's elusive. He has really, really great uh, vision, burst. I think I think he reminds me of a Brian Westbrook type player. A player that's decisive, can make one cut move, make people miss. I would love to have him on the squad, really. I would love to have him on the squad. Um, yeah, that's my list of potential free agent slash draft picks that I would love to replace Miles with. I'm going to give you guys a couple uh, a couple notable people that I left off the list. So we have Rashad Penny. He's a free agent for the Seattle Seahawks. He had 57 attempts for 346 yards. He's a 220-pound human being and 5'10". The reason why I left him off the list is because he has a, he's had injury problems the last couple seasons. And Although I would love to pair him with with Kenny Gainwell, I think that we would have to have our medical staff sign off on him first. That's a very big if, you know what I'm saying? But I would love to have him. I think I might even love to have him more than Kareem Hunt. It would, just, it would take our medical staff to really sign off on him first because that next stuff is really some serious stuff, man. It's some serious stuff for human beings. And... The last person that I, that I left off the list is Zach Evans out of Ole Miss. He's actually a former TCU uh, transfer. He played at Ole Miss last season. He had 144 attempts for 936 yards and a 6.5 average. Now, the man has a has a NFL-type body. I'm not sure if he has that breakaway speed that we love, but he has an NFL-sized body. And I, I like the certain vision that I saw from the highlights that I saw. Um, the reason why he was left off the list is just because, like I, like I said, he doesn't really, he doesn't really show me that explosiveness per se. But he has an NFL body, and I think he may grow into it. You know what I'm saying? Like a, he reminds me of Isaiah Pacheco that I saw last year, where it was like a, a bad team around him. He had a little, he had that body, but he didn't have he he had. You know, a couple of things that may distract him from people looking at him in a positive light, right? So that's why I want to bring up Zach Evans. We may be talking about that man next year. Like, damn, how did he last till the fourth, fifth round? And I just want to give it to you guys first because that's what we're here for with the Preaching to the Birds podcast because we like to preach that real stuff, that real talk. We like to knock your lights out like a Vander Holyfield around here, you feel me? And we, we're just trying to bring you that real content, you feel me? But yeah, guys, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I can't wait to, can't wait to add some new, new stuff to it. Make it more, uh, make this, make this podcast more pretty, uh, shout out to my guy, uh, 
Philly Talk podcast. And LB, you guys helped me out a lot. I'm going to make sure uh, to use the words of wisdom that you guys gave me to become better and stay consistent and make this podcast as beautiful as I can. Shout out to you guys. If you guys have made it uh, to this point of the podcast, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of my future content. Be easy, guys. Fly equals fly.